Hey friends, so um, if in case you couldn't tell, I'm going to go ahead and revisit this piece of gear right here. Since picking this up, I've found that it has more value than you would otherwise imply. I mean, I know $100 is a lot to spend on a power supply, but it might just keep you from ruining a $200 pedal. So when I first talked about this Voodoo Lab Pedal Power X4 last year, uh, I had originally gotten this because I was looking for something I could use to just kind of quickly hook up pedals if, if I didn't really want to just like completely reconstruct a pedal board on the fly, you know. I just wanted to use one pedal. I got this just for that purpose. But since then, I have bought a... Uh, pedal by Walrus Audio called The Slow. After I had released the video on the Walrus Slow, uh, somebody was asking about power supplies, um, making mention that they couldn't believe that some of these expensive pedals didn't come with a power supply. I said, well, I mean, you can always use a battery. And they, they asked, well, will it take a battery? And, and then I started thinking about it. And I, I said, well, I don't want to catch myself being wrong uh, on an off chance. So I went ahead and I opened it up. And I saw, no, it actually won't take a battery. As I was answering, they were like, so this will take a battery? And I, was, and I opened it up. And actually, no, the Walrus, the Walrus Audio Slow does not come with a battery adapter inside. I was looking through the owner's manual and I came across this little tidbit of information. Uh, and I'm going to show it up to the camera in just a moment. But it says the use of an isolated power supply is recommended for powering all Walrus audio pedals. Daisy chain power supplies are not recommended. So if we can get it to show just a little better. So the manufacturer even suggests for you to use uh, something like this to power your pedal. And when I further investigated and read the owner's manual, it recommends a power supply much like this. Uh, something that has the isolated DC outputs as opposed to a daisy chain style. So there might be something said for actually spending the extra money and owning a power supply much like this is for some of your boutique pedals that may not take batteries. There's just times in life you can't be a cheapskate. You, gotta, you know, you buy insurance because you hope you don't have to use it. Not because you plan on getting sick or you plan on getting in an accident, but because you hope nothing happens, but if something does, you don't want to be screwed. You might risk damaging your equipment if you're not using the proper power supply. And this particular one here will power up to four pedals that require nine volt powers. Those are my two cents. If you enjoyed today's video, if you got anything out of it, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later.